Well, g'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. All right, it is autumn gardening time. Uh, so it's time to get all the multiplier alliums out in the garden. That's the garlic, um, the shallots, the potato onions. It's also time for the Egyptian walking onions uh, to get their bulbs uh, planted out. So we need to get into that. Now, I have a fair selection here. I've got um, some garlic here, which is just from the hardware store. You know, nothing special. Uh, I've got some potato onions from last year. Uh, you see on the back of the garlic there. We've got some shoots coming off it. Idea one to purchase. Uh, we also have from a organic growing company, we've got some shallots, uh, some red and yellow ones, and some more garlic. So, yeah, last year I tried doing the supermarket ones. It worked, but it wasn't fantastic. It didn't give the sort of harvest that I was hoping for. So this year we're going with the proper stuff from a few different sources and see how that goes. Okay, basically I'm gonna put all these uh, multipliers down this front bed. I'm gonna scatter the garlic through the garden a little bit. Uh, garlic's good through the garden, helps to deter some pests, um, but it does have its own pests. So, you know, six and one, half a dozen of the other. Um, so, down through this side, I'm going to have the red shallots, the yellow shallots, and the potato onions down the far end. Um, then I'm going to spread the garlic through. Um, yeah, I've got a couple different ones, so I'm just going to spread them all through. Uh, the first one's going to be a purple. Uh, then there's going to be a Glen Large, and down the very end will be a White Italian. So off we go and get into work. Um, I'll probably put a few back this way um, towards the end. A bit of garlic on the end just helps to deter some pests from coming in. Also keep vampires from walking up the driveway. Starting with our bulb, what we're going to do is going to pull back that papery outside coating these are easy because they started to sprout and shoot up a bit um, and then we'll just start pulling the outside layers off you see where those sprouts are coming in okay and then we'll just pull the individual clothes off and your best garlic is going to come from these ones on the outside edges that's going to give you basically what i've got here in my hand these ones on the inside, the small ones, will generally, when they grow, that one's empty, when they grow, just develop a round garlic bulb. Um, it doesn't have the division that you're used to seeing in garlic. So, but, and that's fine for me because I'm happy with a big round bulb because I eat them. So all our outside ones, that's our best ones, and they're going to divide up into these clothes. These inside ones are just going to develop a round bulb. So I was planting them out. Pretty simple process. Uh, we're just going to start do a garlic for this one. Just going to move the mulch back. A little hole in there. Normally you just cover the garlic. This has got that little shoot, so we're gonna wait for a little shoot up. Mulch goes back over the top. Pretty simple. Okay, the shallots. Okay, that's our garlic there. Give it a little bit of room. Again, we'll pull the mulch back. Dig a hole for it. We want to have it so it's... The actual top of it is just out of the ground. Okay. So, you can just see the top of the onion there or shallot and then again we're going to come back in with the mulch 
it'll come up through that mulch and give us a wonderful little plant. All right, well, I'm gonna dart through and get the rest of it planted. Okay, last one on our to-do list for our multiplier onions is the Egyptian walking onion. Um, now, the Egyptian walking onion, or the tree onion, gets its name from these little fellas. They grow bulbils at the tips, and those are baby onion plants. We've got that one there. Also got this one here. Let's see where the tip comes up through. And then we've got the bulbs going on. This one here, same thing. Tip's coming up through. Then you've got the little bulbs. This one's snapped, so the tip's dying off. Definitely trying to put it in the ground. Now the actual onion plant itself um, depends where you live as to what it does. It can die back in uh, the summertime if there's too much heat. Uh, it can die back in the wintertime if there's too much cold. But it is a really frost tolerant plant. It will actually be okay in frozen ground. Um, so probably one of the most versatile of the onion family. I absolutely love it. So what we're going to start with doing... You know, cut these tips and take our little bulbs off. And we'll put those aside for the second. Now, if you're growing it in ground, you can normally get away with about three years before dividing it. Um, because I grow it in such a tight space in the bucket, obviously I'm not going to get three years out of it. Question is, will the bucket come off? Which it is. Right, you can see that beautiful root development. You know, but it is starting to get a wee bit root bound, so it does need dividing. So what we're going to do? Aim for the center of the plant. There's nothing delicate about this part. We're not trying to save the roots. Let's get the extra soil off. See what we're doing. Now you could also dunk them in water to rinse the soil away from the roots. But hard for me to do that and film it at the same time. Now I've got that outside layer off, I am going to go dunk it in water so I can wash these roots clean and that way I can work on the division a bit cleaner. Quick soak and a wash in the water. And then we're dealing with something much more manageable. All right, so what we're gonna do is try and divide it into clumps. So anything that looks like it's going to come away as a group, I'm going to aim for that. Okay, there's our first clump. From here they're going up in a grow bag. It's going to give them a little bit more space for next year. Uh, I think I want a bit more soil in there than what I've got. Alright, that's better. Now, let's just move that camera across a bit so you can see what's going on. Alright, I'm going to put the two 
larger clumps in this grow bag and then I've got another grow bag left. So you can see we've got all that root going nice and downward. So we're gonna do a nice deep hole. Put the roots in there. Then dig it a little bit more. The soil can come up the bulb a little, that's fine. Even grounds always a treat. Okay, we've got our plant in, and now we're gonna to turn to our little bulbs. So all we're gonna do is separate these out. Just nice and gently, you can see where it's fibrous and wants to root. And we're just gonna plant them in, just with a bulb under. and the top out. Now they're all in place, last thing I'm going to do is use the water that I've um, rinsed them off in. This contains all the, uh, all the bacteria and everything that they're already growing in. The soil conditions in there were already perfect for them and they're happy in there. I'll just pull some of the floating stuff off. But yeah, by using this, we're containing all the stuff that they were already happy with. So we'll just gently water everything in. And then we just need to make sure they're damp, they're kept reasonably damp. Um, you don't want them soaking wet, but you want, want to keep a fair bit of dampness to there. Uh, just so those little bulbs can um, set up some roots. Um, that'll encourage them and they will be happy little fellas all right there we go that's how to plant uh, also divide um, multiply our onions thank you very much everyone for watching and bye for now